Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rules of Love and Love. I'm back with you, bringing dark into light. This is a time must read, so please take what resonates and leave it. Does not for somebody else. Collect reading, not for strain. If you're guided to my channel, there's some kind of truth, clarity, confirmation you're looking for. You may be also guided to my channel with my soul missions, waking you guys up to your higher self, higher conscious, up to 5D. Please again take what resonates and leave it. Does not for somebody else. Collect reading, not for strain. You guys, I do have a special going on for the month of May in my Etsy store. Twenty-five dollars, twenty-five cents for a fifteen to twenty-minute pre-recorded video. You could also email me if you're interested in reading. I have 20% off for the month of May because we reached 20,000 subscribers. 20% off, free shipping and handling. And if you purchase $50 of product or more, you get a 10-minute free read with me. And also, I have my spiritual boxes that are in my shop for $39.99. Okay, $39.99, my spiritual boxes. Um, I will grab those quick to show you what they look like. Okay, you guys, these are my spiritual boxes. Um, I'm actually going to add something into it. You could pick one. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Okay, so there's there was seven to nine different things. Um, seven to nine different things, but there's going to be something added, okay? A couple other things added. Um, first thing you get in the spiritual box for $39.99 is you get a uh, protection jar or healing jar, okay? Protection jar, healing jar. You may get a, a body oil, body mist, or a oil roller like this, okay? Or a body mist, okay? It's a surprise. This one is, the, in this box, there's a body oil, okay? Lavender body oil, okay? So it's kind of a, a surprise. That's why it's called Mystery Box. It has a lavender, okay, body oil. Um, you would get a thing of polysanto or sage okay you can go on there and you pick from polysanto or sage that's one two things that you can pick from okay um polysanto or sage each box will get a crystal necklace okay this one has tiger's eye in it each box will have a crystal necklace each box will have a bracelet a authentic crystal bracelet okay for your chakras for healing protection each box will have incense each box will have two tea light candles uh Crystal, this one's amethyst. I have amethyst, citrine, labradorite, selenite, quartz. Um, there's another. There's a couple. They're mystery, okay? There's a few different ones. A sticker. A sticker, affirmation sticker. And then ancestor money, okay? These boxes are really good to carry around for like a um, traveling altar, okay? A traveling altar and different things in it. So these boxes are really cool to carry a traveling altar, okay? So again, ancestor money. Polysanto or sage in each box, an oil mist or a roller in each box, a protection jar, two tea light candles, incense, a crystal necklace with a crystal bracelet, all crystal, all authentic with a uh, crystal. And then I'm adding, what I also am adding is a sample of my, in, um, my sample of my Squeezable melts, squeezable wax melts, okay? This one's blue slushy ice, okay? And that will be added into, I'm going to put that in. So that's a bonus, like, um, this is all only for $39.99. This is well worth more than that. Each bracelet is twenty, at least $20. These necklaces go at least $10, $15, okay? My oils go almost $20. So um, this is well worth it, and you get to carry this with you. And then a little affirmation sticker, okay? So this is really nice. I do put a little design on here for each person. Uh, and look, it's perfect to carry around to having a travel kit, okay? Travel kit. But again, I'm going to add these little samples in there. Um, the little samples for uh, wax melts so you guys can kind of see what it is. These are still new. I'm still playing around with them, you guys. I'm still playing around with um, what kind of um, carry oil. This one has um, joy, joy wax now. I'm trying joy wax instead of soy wax. I heard joy wax is better. Um, I'm using Joy Wax, and this has vegetable oil and um, mineral oil in it to kind of see how it is. The mineral oil has no scent, so that's kind of nice, so it throws off a stronger scent. Vegetable oil has a little bit of vegetable scent, so it kind of is a little bit strong, you know, not as strong for the um, the fragrance oils. But these are double the fragrance oils than candle. And if you don't like lighting the candle or you don't like the smoke from a candle or the toxins that sometimes some, some candles put up toxins, my candles don't. Mine are all not toxin. But if you just like having those local wax melts, warmers, these will smell for room, okay? These will. And you can squeeze as much as you want into your jar. Um, you could dump it out and then put it back in, okay? So that's a little bit about the spiritual box, you guys.
and there will be different scents that will be in there. Like that one has a blue slushy, you guys. I have blue slushy. I have a uh, wild rose. Um, these are kind of something Bohemian rose. Jamaican me crazy. Just a regular rose and cherry vanilla. These are actually getting sent out. I Somebody ordered these. They wanted a sample of different kinds. So that's why these are out. Um, so I'm sending these out as um, an order. But I, I made more to put in the boxes, you guys. Okay. Um, also, I guess I know this five minutes in. Uh, Spirit, let me show you guys this too. Right now, you guys, we have 50 or 20% off in my shop, which um, is a good good time to get candles. Okay, I have them in eight ounces. I have them two ounce or four ounces of different. Um, I have a vanilla vanilla candle um, in eight ounce, and then I also have it in a four ounce. Okay, vanilla in eight ounce and four ounce. I have hazelnut coffee in eight ounce and four ounce. Okay, some have herbs, some have um, don't. And I also have um, sugar caramel soy in 8 ounce and then 4 ounce. Okay, so you guys can check that out as well. 20% um, off, you guys. Can't beat that price with, with candles. It's vanilla. So, I know that... I know the intro is a little bit longer. I think that's right. Sorry about that. Spare let me show you guys that. So that's what I've been working on, you guys. I've been working on a lot of stuff. Adding to my collection for you guys. Everything is made with love and intent and cherished helps as well. Okay, the download, you guys. The message I had um, after six minutes. I'm so, I apologize, but I want to show you guys. Um, is she is snitching, okay? There is a female snitching on everyone in the group, okay? Snitching on everybody. She's trying to keep, um, get herself out of trouble. She is trying to keep herself out of prison, okay? She may have done some jail time, but she's snitching on everybody in the group, okay? Everybody in the community. Um, it doesn't matter if uh, you're friends with her or not, uh, or she's connected close to you or not close to you. If you've known her for years or if you've known her for weeks, she's snitching on everybody, okay? Be careful. This female is snitching on everybody. She got out of jail, there's a female that got out of jail, and she is looking at prison time, okay? I'm here and looking at prison time. I'm here and declined. They were declined. I don't know if in your state, but in Minnesota, um, people get uh, drug court now. In Minnesota, there's drug court. She's de denied drug court because of all her charges, and so she will be doing some kind of prison time if she's... She may still have to do some kind of prison time, but I'm hearing a less prison, prison sentence, okay? Because she's snitching on everybody. And I'm hearing it's not just that she, she's snitching on the little people, okay the fish in the pond she's she's actually snitching on the big people okay it's i'm hearing it could have started out she wasn't snitching on like her dealers or the you know the drug lords or whatever but now she is okay because they want something bigger they don't want these little people they don't want these little um crimes they want something big um to keep her out of you know prison or whatever i'm also here with her snitching she may be getting lo relocated after this okay so she's gonna know these people and she's gonna go because she's an informant, if you think about it, she's going to be snitching and then they're going to relocate her. Okay. They're going to relocate her um, because she's going to be in paperwork. Okay. Um, if they, if they take it to court, if these, the people she's snitching on gets arrested and she takes it to court, what's going to happen is uh, if they decide they don't want to take a plea deal, it's going to go to jury trial. And if it goes to jury trial, she would have to testify. And because her name would come out was when you testify, when you snitch on somebody, when you're an informant, um, you're, you're, you're comp, like, it's confidential and like you're protected unless you end up having to go like unless the person wants to go to trial okay they the pure person that wants to go to trial the defendant wants to take a trial they have a right to know who their accuser is they have a right to know who their snitch is or their their inform the informant okay they have a right most likely nine out of ten they already know who it is because of the paperwork there's details of what happened okay um, except unless it's in a group where she may be st stitching on people where there's a group of people. I I've, I've brought this up before in another message where there's a group of people, um, in like in a room. And so it went pinpoint to her and went pinpoint to one person. So there, there may be five, six, seven, eight, ten people, maybe even 15 people, whatever in a, in a room instead of just one or two. Cause if, if she's in a room just with one person, her and one other person, that person's going to know when they read the paperwork. Okay, when they get that paperwork, they're going to know it was her because it was just her and that person. Just like when I got snitched on, I know it was the, who the person was is because it was just me and her in a public place with where I sell drugs to her at Closed Mentor, okay, in a Target parking lot. So I know that it was her because it was just me and her. She wasn't smart. She didn't fucking do it around people, okay? This girl 
is a little bit smart because she's doing it where there's people around, where there's a group of people. So if she's snitching, she won't be the pinpoint. Like, they couldn't pin it on her, okay? Until, like, it goes to, like I said, goes to full-on trial, okay? Because when, it, like, it, it does. When it goes to trial, um, it's paperwork. But a lot of times, people, 9 out of 10 times, people know who their accuser is, okay? Especially if they're the ones that are not using. Because not everybody that gets set up uses, okay? There are plugs, dealers, drug lords out there that don't use, okay? They don't, they don't, they don't use the product, okay? They slang. That's what they do. They, they sell this slang and they don't use a product, okay? So they, they're coherent of what's happening, okay? Everyone thinks, oh, well, if somebody's a drug dealer, they're not coherent. Um, I was coherent when I was using and when I was a dr um, selling, mainly when I was, when I got into selling because I had to provide for myself, I didn't use. I was actually into the hustling and I was coherent of the things that was, ha what was happening, there's times I wasn't fully coherent, you know what I mean? Like, I was under the influence, but I, to be honest, you guys, I was somebody that was a functional addict, okay? And I was a functional addict where I went to work six, seven days a week for 40 to 80 hours a week, okay? I worked overtime. I was working nonstop, and I was functioning. I never screwed my job. I was actually really good at my job. I actually did better at my job. And some people are going to be on here like, oh, you're just saying that because you're an addict. You're just saying that because you're an addict. There are functional addicts out there. Okay, there are functional addicts out there. And you're you're saying that like this because you're saying, oh, no, I know I was an addict. I know I had I, I was wrong. And I know that um, there's moments I was discor I was um, not coherent and I, I screwed up and I messed up and, you know, I was under the influence. I know that. I know that. I know. I, and I know I was an addict, but I was a functional addict. Okay. Literally, I was doing really good at my job. I was doing a really good job at my job. And the only reason I don't, didn't have my job is I got suspended because I got a drug charge. And at the company I worked at, I could not have a drug charge. And, like, they they wanted to hire me back after everything was taking place, after everything was over, if I didn't have a felon, if I wasn't a convicted felon. Okay? I'm not a convicted felon, you guys. I did my time, and I got a state adjudication because I never was in trouble before. Okay? I was never in trouble before. I did time. I did jail. I did pro probation. But because I never was in trouble before that... Um, in the state of Minnesota, you get a state adjudication. But that means that I cannot screw up again. If I screw up, those felonies will come back. Okay, they will come back. So if I get any charge other than a speeding ticket, um, even I think a disorderly or a paraphernalia ticket, I could um, become a, a convicted felon because of it. Okay? But a lot of you guys are going to be like, I'm there like, oh, she's in denial, she's in denial. No one could be a functional addict. You guys, there are functional addicts because you know what? When I was in the streets... I was actually selling to, I sold to a lawyer. Yeah, I sold to a lawyer, you guys. And a doctor, nurses, people that worked at Mayo Clinic. Okay? People that worked at Mayo Clinic. That worked in the medical field. And they're functional. And they never had a charge. Look at all the doctors. Look at all the celebrities. Look at all that out there. Look how many times they do cocaine. There are functional addicts as well. Okay? But addiction can take over as well. Okay? Um, this woman, though... Well, this female, she's not a functional addict, okay? She she can't work, okay? That's from her. She can't work. She don't know how to work. If she's working, she's working the streets, okay? She's working the streets. She's prostituting. She's selling, slinging drugs. She's, I mean, her drug tra or gun trafficking, whatever. She's doing whatever she can do to get um, money and to survive, okay? Um, she she's not she's not a functional addict. Uh, she's somebody that is unable to take care of herself most times and she also I'm hearing like could be fading out. Okay, fading out is somebody somebody could be doing speed bombs or speed balls too and um hot shots, okay? Um and so she fades out, but that's she's her life is falling apart, okay? And people are gonna be very, very mad. People are already mad. Okay, I'm hearing people are mad because she got out of jail very fast. Okay, that's what I just heard. People are very mad that she got out of jail fast and they're wondering how she got out of jail. People are wondering how this female got out of jail when she's had so many charges before and she could be on probation, parole, and why does she keep getting out? They're not stupid. Some of these people are not stupid, okay? Some of the people she hung out with don't even want to associate with her anymore. Okay, I'm hearing they don't associate with her anymore. Okay, so she's going to another group of people. Okay, she, I'm hearing she'd be going to a younger group of people that don't even know who she is. Could be actually going to a different location as well. Okay, um, some of the people that she's um, getting from to setting up is... People that they thought that people thought that she would never do to because she fit their family, okay. So she she's snitching on her family. People that she's close with or calls family, okay. That she's known for a very long time. Like I said, it doesn't matter. She may know this person for one day. She may know this person for twenty years, fifteen years, ten years, six years, whatever it is. Um, she she's doing whatever she possibly can 
to get a less sentence. Or even to get out, stay out of prison. But what I'm hearing is this, this female may not even be able to get out of prison, okay? Or she may not, she may have to still do some kind of time. She may have to still do some time. Okay, something about post, she could have been in some kind of protective custody. Or going in protective custody because of it. Because now they know, they know who she is. Now she has a hit on her life, you know what I mean? Like, they're out to get her. Okay, what's going on here? What's going on? She could have been involved with a drive-by, um, drive-by, or she could be snitching on people about drive-bys. See, she could have went to school with this person. This one's coming from school. This is somebody's aunt. Sorry, my husband called. Okay. So, yeah, it could be even an aunt. Okay, this, this person could be an aunt. You guys, aunts could be in the 30s. Okay, an aunt could be in the 30s. You solved your own case. You figured this out. Okay. You could be this person's aunt as well. Stitching on non-family members. Instigate, uh, in investigation. My left ear is ringing. We have distant relative coming out now too. Could be making a lot of excuses. I said she may have to relocate. Could be snitching on her friends. Friends, associates. She's also lying, okay? It's usually confidential informants are usually like telling the truth, but she's lying too, okay? She's lying to the authorities. She's lying to her, her um, handler, okay? It's called the handler. She's lying to get by, okay? So she's, she may tell a little bit of the truth, but she's also lying. Lying to the police. Make excuses to the police. And there's a protective custody to be a mom. Okay. We have mom coming out. I'm not going to put out that. I'm just keeping these out. Mom in a breakup. There could be some kind of breakup too. An ending. To be a mom. And the government is involved. They don't even like this girl anymore. They don't want her around. They don't like. They don't want her around. They know she's up, nothing up. She's not. They know she's not. Not. Oh my gosh! I can't even say it. They know she's up to nothing. Like no good. That's what I'm trying to say. She's. Uh, they know she's up to no good. I'm hearing some of these people didn't realize it would be her. Didn't think that she would do this, but she is. Joke's on them. <laughs> Joke. Joker. Okay, we're not spirit. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Masculine. I'm also hearing when she, when she, she snitches, she snitches on masculines, but I'm hearing she snitches more on females because she wants to get the females out of the picture. She, um, the females are, um, in competition with her. Like, she thinks they're competition, like, competitive. And so she's trying to, like, she, she could be snitching on just females at first. Or men she don't like. So she's snitching on people she don't like at first. She wants them out of the way. Competition. Creeper been caught. Somebody sleeping on the job, slumber, not woke. She could be a psychopath. She's a liar. You guys, females are psychopaths too, okay? Females are psychopaths too. To be honest, my sister's a psychopath, okay? Still have love for her, but she's a psychopath. Some of my ex-friends were psychopaths, and they can deny it if they were. Raid. Okay, she's getting these people raided. They're doing background checks on these people. Now they're looking into everybody. She named a lot of people. Confirmation on them. She's getting these people's assets seized as well. Okay. Police are seizing assets. The them. Some kind of supernatural. Supernatural occurrences. Undercover car. 
driving by him, and then what goes wrong comes around. She's snitching on these people, and if she's doing it for wrong reasons and bad reasons and stuff, it's going to come back on her. Okay, Spirit wants me to tell you, say that, okay? Yes, there are informants out there that are doing the right thing. They're putting, you know, criminals away that are trafficking and rape and killing and murder, all that stuff, okay? Yes, okay? There are informants out there. They have purposes, okay? Informants have purposes as well. Undercover cops have purpose as well. Everyone has a purpose, okay? There's different things. But if this person's informing and, like, is an informant and, like, snitching on people for the wrong reasons, it's going to come back and bite her in the ass. Okay? If she's snitching for the wrong reasons, it's going to come back and bite her in the ass. Cause and effect. What you do onto others is going to be onto you. So she's going to be snitching on people and they're going to be snitching on her too. Okay? What goes wrong comes around. It's, it's, there's no way out of, like, things like that. Because she's being federal indicted. She's getting other people federal indicted as well. She's corrupted. Grand Theft Auto, she could be involved with Grand Theft Auto. Overdoses, somebody was adopted, adoption. You could be a light worker, light bringer, full of magic. Magic is within you. The government is involved. She is a karmic. Sex is all that she wants. Sex is all that they want. Brett Jr. Somebody could be an independent songwriter. Something about a restaurant. Okay. Things are happening in a restaurant. Sorry, these cards are hard to shuffle sometimes. They're getting old. It's like one of my first decks I made. Your soul contract has been broken with this person. Okay, it's been broken. Authorities are involved. The law. She's satanic. Yeah, she's evil. She's dark, okay? She's not doing this for the good reason, the right reasons, okay? She's doing it for the wrong reasons. She's doing it to just get people in trouble, okay? Plus, she's still committing crimes, okay? Plus, she's still involved in, like, what she's doing. So, she's snitching on other people, and she's still committing the crime. She's still involved in it. She's still doing it, okay? She's still trafficking. She's still doing, gun, like, drugs, okay? She hasn't learned her lesson from going to jail. So... She's a clout monster, doing weird shit and anything to get some attention. This is something, this snitch, this female snitch, she's snitching because she wants to get attention too. Okay, so she may be okay with snitching, okay? Maybe she is okay. Maybe she's okay with that. People know about it because then she's getting attention. People are talking about her, okay? Her name's getting out there. Hey, people like that, okay? People don't mind. Okay, there's people that are not afraid. And if she thinks she's protected and she thinks she's okay, she's good. She's going to be good, okay? But she is guilty, Declared guilty, trial, judge, and jury, wrong, justice. And as I said, she's going after family members, drama. Okay, these are family members. She could be trying to frame them. Okay? She's trying to frame them. She doesn't care. Be spiritual with surveillance as well. God sees everything. Spirit guides. Angels see everything. Wanted to come out again. Dangerous company, ops, so somebody's in dangerous company. See, you're on this person. This person's dangerous. This person's stupid, dumb. Somebody may need to get an attorney, a lawyer, or have a lawsuit. Look for a lawsuit. We have Sagittarius coming out. This individual could be end up having health attacks, health issues, cold, sickness, okay? I'm also hearing the fem that's a snitch could have an STD, okay? I'm hearing hep, hepatitis, 
even at her age, okay? This female could be getting it. She's sharing needles. She's sleeping around with no protection. Okay? You could be a shaman, a healer. You heal the dark. You heal the evil people. You help people, evil people. You help dark, like, demons and stuff. You help them with their gifts. A shaman. Lying, okay? She's lying. Most shamans ain't liars, okay? Because I can come out here and say shaman. Shamans most likely are not liars, okay? Because I just heard somebody say, oh, well, there's a shaman that's lying. Most likely the shaman's not lying. Most likely if a shaman, if somebody's a shaman, they've reached a higher consciousness and they've ascended to a higher level of conscious, of conscious state and they are here for good. They help good, okay? They understand bad. They understand evil. They understand good, okay? Their shamans are usually of the light of good, okay? So make me ominous. Justice prevails. Wrongs corrected. Just being served. Court case one. We also have the North Northern. Perjury. This person could be perjury. Lying under oath. Big ass lie. Cover up. Okay. Trying to cover ass. Could be getting caught. Perjury. Ages between 50 and 60. She's been watching your money and finances. So she could be watching to see, you know, who has money, who doesn't. That could be why too. She could be breaking up happy homes, too. Chaos agent, home wrecker. Breaking up happy homes. Yep, court case. Child support, domestic violence, tax, civil matter, crime, fraud, theft. She's yeah, involved in some kind of uh, court case, okay? That's what she's trying to get out of. Um, she could have been involved with a fight or somebody's going to fight her. I'm hearing bully. Verbal physical instigation. She may instigate situations. Sage is coming out again. Sag. Sage. I don't know why I just said Sage. Sage is coming out again. Someone has to pay the piper. I just heard pay the piper. Pay up. Pay. Fuck you. Pay me later. Pay me now. Fuck you. Pay me. Someone's like, I'll pay you later. I'll pay you later. And like, you're like, no, pay me now. I want my fucking money now. They are sneaky. I like this. I don't know why I'm drawn to this. You guys, I'm um drawn to light my candle, my peppermint can peppermint mocha candle. Peppermint mocha smells so good. It's really strong. Throw. This is a reused jar candle that my soul sister sent me. She sent me this, and I reused it. Um, if you're interested, I do have peppermint mo mocha um, as well. Okay, I do have more. Um, I do have peppermint mo mocha in a... I think it's six ounce. Yep. Six ounce. Why is it? This is peppermint mocha with a uh, cupless mix. I don't know why it's not like that. I must have had I have some peppermint mocha ones. Wow. Why does it smell like that? Okay. I don't know. Okay. I do, I do have one. I think I have it in the shop, so check it out, you guys. 20% off. I was guided to light that candle up. This person will be an alcoholic as well. Okay. She's a snake. She's going to snake you so fast. Like, be careful. You guys, check out my body. Missing my body oils, too. This is my job making me crazy. Just making me miss gross oil. Okay, what's going on? Somebody could be suicidal because they're getting snitched on. We have Virgo coming out. Okay, this person can be on the influence of heroin. Okay, what else is going on here, Thank you. Relax, please. 
But I want you to relax. Take a deep breath. Cleanse your chakras. Okay? She may have a curable STD. So that's coming out. Curable STD. So it could be um, gonorrhea, chlamydia. It could be even crabs. Trichomosis. This is a false twin flame. Two more. Two more, please. We have Aquarius coming out. Okay, I just need air computer incurable disease too, so they could be a curable or incurable. Drug user. No one respects this female anymore. Okay, they don't even respect her anymore. It's like done. No more respect. Legal proceedings. Court situation. Wow. Next back to back with justice. She's pure evil. False flag. Operation is not as not an act committed um no intent of disguising the actual source of responsibility pinning blame on another party she's pinning blame on another party okay she's blaming others for everything that's happening she's in pure ego okay false flag she's yeah she's pinning things on other people you know she's involved in it she does have some kind of accomplice or partner in crime she's hiding a lot of shit okay she's hiding stuff about her too She's not giving them all the info, info, but she's, like, giving them enough info where they're keeping her out of jail. Some kind of trafficking. She could have been trafficked as well. Okay. Something about her John. Like, I'm also hearing Stockholm Syndrome. Homicide. Huh. Okay, if she's involved in homicide, she's not going to be able to get out of this one, okay? Or she may be snitching on somebody that's involved in homicide. Trapped. She's trapping people, okay? She's setting people traps. People that they trust her surveillance see she's re recording okay she has a hidden surveillance on her it, it could be in a key fob it could be in a ring it could be in a necklace it could be in earrings it could be in um in phones it can be in watches it can be um almost on anything now you guys almost on anything they can put in a jacket they can almost on anything glass sunglasses eyeglasses hair ties they can put on almost anything now okay so she's wearing something to surveillance okay a video with surveillance and a phone surveillance to be recorded, okay? Because she's needing some kind of proof, evidence of these people. This, there's a child can be involved, okay? She's acting immature, childish is what I'm hearing too. Okay, love's coming out. I'm just hearing you could you could love this person. This could be somebody you loved, you cared about, okay? You have some kind of feelings for as well. Okay, or you're just a loving, caring person. Someone needs to open their heart chakra as more or as as well. Some kind of war. And secrets. Yeah. Secret lives. Okay, she has secret life people don't realize. Something about hitting the road jack. I just heard that. I just heard that hidden road jack. See, she's trying to cover up something too. She's sitting on people, but then covering things up. Trying to cover up her trail, cover up her mess. Okay, you could be defending. Okay, you could be defender or protector. Okay, somebody's trying to defend. Or something, there could be a bodyguard involved too. Special intelligence, knight, mercenary involved. Okay, she could be uh, in poverty. Homeless, doesn't have any money. Okay, that could be why she's doing this. She's a beggar. Some about a beggar. You're a teacher, a mentor. You help people. Academics, instructions, teacher, mentor, master. Okay. 
alternative sexualities. That's a polygamous. I saw that in another card. I didn't take it. So she could be in a polygamous relationship. Okay, sex, sex addiction I'm also hearing too. She could be a swinger. She's been sexually assaulted before. Okay, that could be why. And we have an athlete coming out. She could have been a past athlete or athlete could have sexually assaulted her. Okay, she could be snitching on athletes. Okay, somebody, this could be, wow. Okay, I just got a different number. This could be a female that went to jail and she's snitching on athletes. Athletes are behind some, some involved in some shady shit. In um, group sex orgies. Um, sexually assaulting people. So she was trying to snitch. I, I just heard snitching on basketball players, football players, okay? Yeah, somebody's snitching on some athletes. Okay, these you know athletes do drugs too. Oh, should I grab it? Oh, damn it. There was more. It's been happening lately. I haven't been grabbing all the cards. Just guess they're not meant to come out. Everything happens for a reason. Every, you guys, I believe everything happens for a reason, good and bad. Everything that's bad in my life, everything I did wrong, um, happened in my life so I can grow, learn from it, okay? You know, even though I was a functional addict, it still wasn't right. Okay, I know that. It still wasn't right. I could hurt somebody. I, something can happen, okay? Something happened, okay? But I do want to say this too, is me being an addict, it woke me up. Okay, I woke up to things that I would never have woken up to, okay? Methamphetamines actually... Um, woke me up. And before I was doing drugs, I was um, drinking it and I was sleeping and I wasn't paying attention and I was stuck in the Matrix and living in La La Land fantasy world and not seeing really, I didn't believe half the stuff that I hear now, half the stuff I know now. I didn't believe in trafficking. You guys, I did not believe that there was trafficking. I did not believe in Pizza Gate. I didn't believe in the Cabal. I didn't believe in any of that shit. I didn't even know about that shit. I didn't know how cults and rituals were happening. Like, I didn't believe that th these ritual sacrifices really happened. When I started doing dope is when I actually started hearing things and seeing things, feeling things from, like, you know, and it probably was the darker spirits and stuff, but spirit was also waking me up. And people may not say, people will sit on there and say, oh, you're saying that, like, I'm not saying anyone needs to go do that. I'm saying that's what woke me up. What put me through a spiritual awakening is because I was on the, uh, I was an addict, I was using methamphetamines. Okay, it, it it opens your consciousness up so you can see other things that other people don't see. And that's where another thing too is people that do drugs, they can actually see darkness and they can or they can see light. And a lot of people get stuck and they see darkness and they live in hell. Okay, so they see demons. I wasn't seeing demons. I was seeing different things. I was seeing angels. I was seeing my light. I was seeing the guide. I was being given messages, more messages. And the reason it was like that is because of the fact that I had ADD, ADHD, and I wasn't diagnosed with it, okay? I didn't get diagnosed with ADHD, ADD, um, till, um, it would have been in 2019, and it's what, 2024? So five years ago, I'm 38, so I didn't get diagnosed with ADHD until I was 33, almost 34, I think, okay? 33, 34 years old. And methamphetamines, to me, was... Something that was helping with helping me with my ADD, ADHD. And that's why I was a functional addict. And if you know about Adderall, Adderall is a form of methamphetamines. So if anyone wants to get on there and say, oh, I've never done dope, I've never done methamphetamines, but then they're taking Adderall, go back and read what's in ingredients with Adderall. Adderall is a um, control substance through pharmaceutical companies to prescribe it to people with ADD, ADHD. So if you're on here and you're judging people that do methamphetamines and you're on here saying, oh, I'm never going to do methamphetamines, I'm never going to do that, I'm never going to touch it, people are stupid, they're addicts, but you take Adderall or Ritalin or Vyvanse, it's pretty much the same thing, it's just legal. Okay, that's the truth. It's pretty much the same thing, but it's legal. It's just not street drugs and methamphetamines is where it's cut so much and then it can't be legalized or it can't be taxed. So it's so wrong. Tax, Okay. So, but Adderall is the same thing, you guys. Adderall is pretty much the same thing. It's just legal. You can even fucking Google it. Let's come here home. See on here, because somebody needs to education. Because I'm getting on here and somebody's saying, oh, I, you guys, I do not do math, okay? I, yes, I used to. Okay? 
but I am prescribed Adderall. Okay, I am prescribed Adderall. I do take Adderall, a low dose of it. Adderall and meth are both stimulant drugs that can cause euphoria and increase focus. Both drugs have potential for abuse. Adderall can be for abuse, okay? So I be closely watched on it, okay? Um, these chemical cousins are similar but have different effects. Let's look at why um, and how the year is used for ADHD. As a stimulant drug, meth and Adderall are chemically similar. However, methamphetamine is much more powerful, okay? That's all. Much more powerful and street is being cut. And that's what's so bad on the streets, okay? It's being cut. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to say everyone go do that. I'm just saying there's a lot of people that take Adderall and they're prescribed medications and they're judging other people, okay? Um, how does Adderall affect the brain? It speeds up the brain activity, increases in amounts of availability, neurotransmitters called dopamine and neurofine. While the medication is in your system, it can relieve the disrupted symptoms of ADHD and necrolepsy, okay? Supervised ADHD. D medications like Adderall are unlikely to ha be habit forming. However, if you don't have legitimate medical reasons to use Adderall, taking the drug can be risky. So people buy it off the streets because they're not supposed to be, um, they don't have ADHD and they're taking it for a high, okay? Um, so you can go look on this, you guys. Okay, Adderall versus methamphetamines. I'm going in this because this is something that somebody needs to hear, okay? A similar drug, meth and Adderall are chemically similar. However, methamphetamine is much more powerful than Adderall because more of the drug reaches more of the drug reaches a user's brain. Meth also has more harmful side effects and higher potent for abuse and addiction. People misuse by misuse meth by smoking, snorting, injecting, or swallowing it. Well, I, I, I swallowed it. Okay, I swallowed it. That's what I did. I smoked it first, but I swallowed it, and then that's it. Okay? I snorted it a few times, too. While meth creates a rapid, powerful rush of good feeling, it also wears off quickly, leaving cup people chasing the high, chasing the dragon. Those who develop intolerance will need increasingly high doses to achieve the same effects. And as meth addictions worsens, it can be all become all consuming. National meth addiction has caused devastating problems for entire communities, causing the higher rates of crime, unemployment, and child neglect. Ongoing meth use can cause cause people to experience psychotic psych, psychotic symptoms like hallucinating and the sensation of bugs crawling under their skin. In some cases, meth related psychosis can persist long after someone quits using. Additional Brains, GANs, and chronic meth users have shown several notable alterations in regions associated with learning, emotional, decision-making, and memory. I never had that. Never had that. I never thought of that at all. I was never paranoid like that. I never got paranoid. Only time I got paranoid was when um, I was selling. When I was selling. I wasn't paranoid when I was used. When I was selling, I was just paranoid because I thought I was going to go to jail. I knew I was going to go to jail. Um, besides the neurological and behavioral consequences of methamphetamine use, long-term users are experiencing of physical effects, including drastic weight loss and severe tooth decay, tooth decay sorting, from poor nutrition and additional type typical meth emails. You can still with Adderall and Verdolin and Vivance, you can still have tooth decay. Your teeth can still get messed up because you get very dry mouth, okay? And you can lose weight too, okay? That's the same thing. You can lose weight as well, okay? Um, and develop skin sores and picking and scratching at the increase, okay? So, I don't know. That was a little information. So, you guys, don't judge a book by its cover, okay? Because they're a function of people and um, you, if you... You just, you never been in that situation. Okay, I don't even know why that went out that way, but we're just going to close out. So, you know. And I'm, I'm, I'm open. I'm open about my, my, my recovery. I'm, I don't hide it. I don't just, I don't regret it either. Because it made me who I am today. It made me who I am today. I don't regret it. I look at it as if I didn't do something like that, I would not be experiencing the things I went through and I would not, be exp I would not went through these experiences to help other people as well. So I don't regret anything I've done. Only thing I really, truly, really regret is in my life is not spending more time with my mom before she died and like really, really working on that relationship even though it was really hard. And then the short period of time that I, I was kept away from my daughter Carmelita while I was using. Because she didn't want to be around me, which wasn't, was understandable I don't regret losing my job now I don't regret going to jail anymore it was a learning experience I got to experience jail which is you know what I mean like it's not fun but I got to experience it I don't wish it on anybody okay forensic science fields will provide important clues and then we have strange phenomena involved argument 
fight is a factor, okay? Some kind of fight argument, okay? This is somebody stitching on people, taking off, okay? Um, there's, there's important clues, okay? Okay, evidence. This could be surveillance, okay? Recordings as well. You guys hit the like button, share, subscribe, you know, share the video, you know, if you want, you know. I, I'm an open book. I'm an open book. You ask questions, I may answer. I'm most likely to answer if I read the comments, okay? I'm an open book. I'm not going to deny things. I've I've made mistakes, but those mistakes I've learned from. And I'm not going to repeat them again. 5151. Emb embrace divine love, higher power, enlightenment, major breakthrough. Major breakthrough. If anyone asked me if I would go back to before the time I used and if I would do it all over again, yes, I would do it all over again. I, I would get high off dope again. I would do it all over again because, um, like I said, I've learned things. I've met my husband. Um, I've seen things I never thought I would see. I just, I, I was able to experience those things so I can help other people. Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Libra, and Two. And that even includes if um, I if I would go back and redo it all over again, and I was homeless. Yes, I didn't like being homeless. I didn't. I was in a car accident. I didn't like not having a car. I didn't like not having a job. I didn't like having that. But I would repeat it all. I would do it all over again if I if I had that chance, so I can experience it again. Because again, it shaped me who I am today. It shaped me into the beautiful person I am today, the loving, caring person that I'm out here sharing my story. I'm um, bringing messages to you. I'm a wonderful mom, a wife, you know what I mean? A, a human being, spiritual being, a, a di divine being. Okay, so again, I won't take it back. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, heal, namaste.